Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So today we're actually going to continue with the Octoprint rig, setting it, setting it up for an Adafruit 3.5 inch Pi TFT. And I got a couple requests for people that want to uh, set up the webcam, uh, the Raspberry Pi camera module. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so this is the same guide. We're just going to pick up where we left off. So in the, uh, the wiki guide from Octoprint, uh, using the same guide set up on a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian, uh, there is a section dedicated for running a webcam, which starts right here. And if we go look over the hardware that I have here, I have the same exact hardware. Uh, my Adafruit uh, 3.5 inch Pi TFT, the Raspberry Pi 3, and I just have like a keyboard hooked up to it. And I have Ethernet hooked up, but you could also use Wi-Fi and of course the Wi-Fi that's built into the Pi 3. My Raspberry Pi camera module is already connected using a pretty long uh, ribbon cable. And I actually designed a 3D printed enclosure for it and I just have like this little uh, lens, this little super fisheye lens, just to give it a little bit more angle. And uh, this is just like a standard like little tripod thing. And yeah, so that's basically it. It's up to you guys however you wanna mount your uh, Raspberry Pi camera, but I figured I'd have it propped up right. And this is uh, the older uh, Raspberry Pi cam module. I think the newer one is, is about the same, but it just doesn't have the LED and some other things. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on the software stuff. I'll open up my terminal and we'll basically be doing everything from there. Let's uh, start by SSHing into it. Now, before we even start, oops, before we even uh, start uh, following this, this guide here, we, should, we actually need to, let me get this password in right. There we go. We actually need to do sudo apt get update. Not upgrade, but update. And that's basically going to uh, download some updates uh, to the Raspberry Pi software. All right, so now that that's updated, we can now continue uh, with the software setup for the webcam. So I'm going to grab this first line. It's going to uh, basically uh, install some dependencies uh, for the MJPEG streamer, which allows us to stream uh, a video feed from the Raspberry Pi uh, camera module. So we just need to be sure that we're in uh, Pi Home, so just CD like that. We already are there, just to make sure you are. And I'll just paste this in, and again, this is just going to download some de uh, some de dependencies. It'll ask me if I want to add the additional disk space. I'll say yes, and it'll just start uh, chugging away. So once that's finished, we'll we'll uh, go to the next step here, where it uh, get clone and grabs uh, the MJPEG streamer from Jax Jax Ilum Jackson <laughs> Liam. So let's go ahead and grab that. I just paste it in, and it'll clone it uh, to a Raspberry Pi. That's pretty quick and easy. Next up, we just need to step into the right directory. So if we do an ls, you can see that there's a new directory there, mjpeg streamer. So I'll just paste that in. So cd mjpeg streamer, and then there's another folder called mjpeg streamer experimental. So once we're in there, we can do an export here. So we'll export this out like that. And then we'll actually compile it with the make command. So while that's happening, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it looks like you should then be able to start the webcam server streaming. But the thing is, this is actually, this line here is actually for the USB type webcam. So what we need to do, if we keep scrolling down, you'll see another one. This one's for the PS3i, like the PlayStation 3i webcam. And that's not what we want. You'll see here, if you want to use the official Raspberry Pi camera, then you need to run this. So you need to be sure to run this part here. So let that compile and we'll paste it in when it's done. All right, so that's done. So now let's go ahead and paste that in, but let's take a look at this. So if you look at, at the line that we've pasted, there's actually a couple settings here. So there's FPS five. So that's frames per second. Five frames per second is really, really slow. So let's go ahead and, and type in 20 just to give it a little bit more smoothness. So I'm gonna hit enter. Ah, okay, so it looks like it failed. So the first thing we need to do, or the next thing rather, what we're gonna do is we're going to do sudo raspi config. And we should have did this in the beginning. Uh, but what we need to do is you actually need to uh, enable the camera. So I did sudo uh, raspi config and it brings up the software configuration tool. So I'm just going to click uh, or I'm going to select enter on the enable camera. Would you like to enable the camera? I'll use my left arrow keys to hit enable with enter and then I'll hit finished. And now we need to reboot. 
So it'll just reboot and then we'll SSH back into it once it's booted up. So we'll take a look here at the overhead. You can see the Pi is booting up. There she goes. All right, it shouldn't take too long. So let's go ahead and go back over here and I'll go ahead and SSH in. Should be the same IP address. Asks me for the password. Okay, so now again, we need to step into the right folder. So I'll do CD MJ and I'll hit tab, MJ again, tab, because it's in the MJPEG streamer ex experimental folder, I'll hit enter. So now we're in there. Now I'll grab this again, I'll copy it again, the, the actual line, and I'll go ahead and change this again to 20. So let's see if this works. So hit enter, and there we go. It is now gave me a couple outputs. So it's saying that the resolution is at 640 by 480, which we can totally change. The FPS is at 20. There's a lot of other options you can play with. Looks like uh, sharpness, contrast, brightness, a whole mess of other things. We'll go over those in a little bit, but you can see here it started the camera and the encoder buffer size is that big. So to actually see what we're seeing, um, it says now you can point your browser to this. So grab this URL. And if you see here, I have a uh, Octoprint set up already loaded here. So I'll make a new tab and I'll just put in my IP right here in this place. So it's 10, 1, 10, uh, 2, 215 or 219? What was it? 219. Sorry about that. I just forgot. There we go. Let's see what happens. Whoa, double camera mode. So yeah, so this looks really well. This works really, really good. Uh, super easy to set it up. So again, uh, it's running at fr uh, 20 frames a second, which is pretty solid. And this is what it looks like without uh, this guy here, the little fisheye lens. You can get these from like Alibaba or Photo Jojo, depending on how much you want to spend. Uh, but these these are really awesome, excellent um, little lenses. And just make sure I get that lined up. There we go. It has a little clip, so you don't have to like mess with any magnets or anything. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now that we got this. Okay, so how do we get it into the Octoprint uh, setup? So to do that, we're actually going to come here to settings in our Octoprint rig in our Octoprint interface, and we're going to go to webcam. So in the stream URL, all we have to do is copy this link and put it in the stream URL. Okay, so for snapshot URL and path to F, uh, FFmpeg, uh, we'll actually go back over here, and this kind of tells you what you need. So we'll grab the snapshot URL here, and that's going to go right here in the snapshot URL. And then for FFmpeg, we'll grab this uh, this uh, path here, paste that in. Time lapse bitrate is actually the quality of your bitrate. I'm going to leave that at default. You have a couple different options here. You can rotate the webcam, flip it a couple different ways, and even enable the watermark. Uh, so that's up to you and whatever you want. And the FFmpeg uh, threads is uh, the more numbers of threads, the more I think quality or better. Uh, um, yeah, better quality you're going to get, better refresh rate. So I hit save. And now I just need to refresh my browser window here, browser tab. And it should fall up under the control tab. So we'll, we'll wait for this to log in. Okay, let's go to control. And there we go. So that's how to get it into our Octoprint uh, setup. All right. Um, so the one thing about this is that you actually uh, can't get it to to display, uh, or at least I haven't been able to get it to display on this actual guy. And it really doesn't make that much sense because this is going to be uh, pretty close proximity to your 3D printer. So it wouldn't make sense to have the um, the the live camera feed here and your printer like right there, because you're already there, right? So, this, so uh, this method here just works best for devices that are a little bit of way remote monitoring. So that's what this is about. Now, if you wanted to do um, some different options, uh, like I was saying, like brightness and rotation and things, um, those are going to pretty much fall under uh, the the actual line that you paste in. So this guy here, right here. So you'd actually put in um, the the stuff in there. So I'll, I'll give you an example of probably. So what I'll do is I'll cut. I'll stop this stream. So to stop the stream, you just hit Control C, and that'll say uh, setting the signal to stop. All right. So I'll hit up on my keyboard, and that'll just uh, paste in the the last um, the last command that we did. So a part of FPS, you actually have a, a whole bunch of other settings, and to get those settings, uh, I'll actually just go to the GitHub repo here, 
and I think the the settings are, are listed there. Okay, maybe not there. Maybe over here, yeah. So input Raspberry Pi Cam documentation. So let's open that. And then you should be able to get all of these guys. So these are all the available commands that you can run. So there's quite a bit of them. So if I wanted to do uh, like a, a bigger thing, let's try doing um, something bigger. Let's see here. So it would actually be right at, right before this uh, parent, uh, quotation mark, or yeah, per, not parentheses, not quotation. I think it is quotation marks, yes. <laughs> uh, so we can do quality, we can do preview. So let's do X, uh, maybe 1280 by 720. 720. Let's see if that works. I'll hit enter. And it looks like the resolution is now 1280 by 720. So let's go back over to our Pi setup. And yeah, that looks about right. It's uh, It's been shrunken down a little bit. But if we were to run a time lapse, the time lapse will record at 1280 by 720. So that's pretty neat. Um, and I think that's about it. You guys can play around with uh, all these settings if you want. Again, I, I found them by going to uh, the actual repository from Jackson Liam. Liam. So I just grabbed that. I went over here, and then there's some documentation for the, the, the input Raspi Cam plugin. So I launched that, and then this gave me all the input options that we have here. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys know a way to get this a little bit better, maybe automated, so you don't have to start the script all the time. Uh, let me know. I think there's a way to do that here. Um, uh, yeah, if you just keep scrolling down, there's a way to uh, to add. I just haven't um, played with it too much, but this is just a quick way to get it up and running. I think that's about it, guys. Hopefully, this is clear to you. Um, let me guys know what you think, and if you have any uh, any better uh, methods of getting this to work, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Um, you can grab the 3D printing, 3D printed enclosure on our Thingiverse page. It's just thingiverse.com slash Adafruit. It should be up there as well. But that's about it, guys. Um, hopefully, everything was clear. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.